Oh, <laughs> oh yeah. It lives up to its name. It smells like vomit. Group us here in Palawan, Philippines. Um, we were hiking through this forest when I stumbled upon a noni fruit. I saw it smashed on the ground. I'd never really seen one of these in real life. I, I've only known about them because they're supposedly super healthy for you and they're really distinct looking fruit. So I'm gonna go and pick one and uh, try to find a ripe one and see how it tastes. Okay, so this is crazy. Uh, this island has a bunch of bats and I've been wondering what they're eating and from what I understand they actually eat this noni fruit. Um, they are just all over the place. Like if you look at this tree, it's, those aren't leaves, those are bats. This fruit is also known as vomit fruit, puke fruit, cheese fruit. Supposedly it's really gross um, but also very healthy so we're gonna see what's up with that wild out here. We got monitor lizards, fruit bats, funny looking birds. We've just found the tree. This is what the tree looks like. Pretty big leaves. And this is what the fruit looks like. Okay, so we have the fruit here. Noni, also known as puke fruit, also known as Marinda citrifolia. Now when I first picked this, it wasn't quite ripe enough. Um, and so I kind of just let it sit out for a few days and now it's ripe and it smells. Initially when I got it, it didn't smell that bad, but now I know why it's called puke fruit and it, it's quite repulsive. So I can already smell that this thing's gonna taste gross. So I have this uh, dessert in the Philippines, they call it sago, and that's gonna hopefully help wash it down. And uh, I have some water here. Oh, I can already smell it. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and just give this a cut, a vertical cut just down the middle. And I'll show you what it looks like on the inside. So this is what the fruit looks like. A lot of seeds um, among the flesh. On the outside, you know, it's kind of like alien looking, like a bunch of eyes or something. Quite the weird looking fruit, kind of a translucent skin. This is uh, also known as a famine fruit. Um, kind of eaten as a last resort. I, I can totally see why people would eat this as a last resort. I mean, it has a lot of nutrition and vitamins, but oh, it smells so bad. Um, so I'm just gonna taste it now. Oh. Oh. <laughs> okay. Oh. Ah, uh, okay. All right. Oh, I can't get it out of my mouth. So initially when, I, when it touched my tongue, I felt the numbing effect, kind of like a Szechuan pepper. Um, there is this sort of, there is something good going on for a little bit and then it just turns into like vomit. It just tastes like vomit in your mouth. Um, but I did get a hint of some tropical fruit flavors uh, but it's just so, it was all overwhelmed by the actual vomit flavor and the, the mushy texture just wasn't doing it for me. All right, this thing's really disgusting, but I have to give it another taste um, to really uh, internalize it because I'll probably avoid this fruit for the rest of my life, but. Okay, yep, <laughs> don't eat any more of that. All right, I, I figured it out that that second tasting actually did help. Um, what I was tasting is, um, it's kind of like passion fruit. You know, there's big seeds inside this and you get a little hint of that passion fruit um, flavor around the seed, but it is just, yeah. The other, the vomit thing just overwhelms you. I can kind of see, I know people make juices with this and other things, maybe jams or something. I can kind of see, I can kind of get it to somewhere if you were to add a lot of sugar, but fresh, it is, it's not a very good fruit to be eating. Not a very tasty fruit. So I wouldn't recommend paying for this fruit, but if you can get it for free, it might be worth a try. I didn't think it would make me gag, 
because I thought I had a pretty strong palate, but this fruit is really like nothing else I've eaten. Goodbye, Noni. You served me well.